on one of your, your uh, images on Instagram you had posted a while back was um, you had shown a 64 Impala at a, yeah. at a show. Was that like one of the first shows where you were presenting a lowrider at? Yeah, so that was our RPMS, which is International Plastic Model Society. So that's one of the groups that we have here um, in Durban, which is a, an area of South Africa that I'm from. Um, so it's a group of, of plastic modelers. Some of us build cars, some build aircraft, some build a little bit of everything. And once a year, we have like a model of the year. All right. So I showed, that was my Impala I showed there. And these oaks had never seen anything like that. They were like mm -hmm. flipping out. They were like, damn, how did you do that paint? And <laughs> how did you do this? And how did you do that? So it was, you know, I, I didn't know I would get the response that I did, but mm -hmm. it, it, it was so cool because some people were so interested and then some people were like, oh, that's like, that's like so 80s or, or like, <laughs> oh, what do you, why are you bringing that here? But it was really yeah. cool. It was, it was nice to have that mixed response. Mm -hmm. And it just gave me that push to like go further and try harder and try and change people's perspective on something they know nothing about, you know. So yeah. I wrote a little story about the car and I'll actually send it to you, but it's, it's basically what the kit that I built was, how I built it, and oh, then just cool. like a little, like a made-up story, kind of mm -hmm. like, like a, a background story as to how the car was made and whatever, whatever. So it kind of like, you see the model, but then there's more to it than that. And there's always more to it. I mean, no one knows what I was thinking when I was building it or how I was feeling when I was building it. So I kind of created this backstory. So if someone wasn't interested in what they were seeing visually, maybe the words jumped off the page and could have captured them. So, and people appreciated that. They were like, hey man, I like the fact that you took the time to write something out and let us know what was going on or like how you actually got to where you got. Yeah. So it was cool. Dude, that's awesome. I would like to read that. I would like to check yeah. that out. <laughs> For sure. So I've still got that 64. It was my first one. And um, yeah, I think I just I just went crazy then because I saw your guys, how you guys just bust out. And I was like, oh, I got I to gotta do something. I got to try something, you know? Yeah. 